tell you that a bad habit can destroy your true potential. Yes, it will keep you from being the best version of yourself. Now, everyone watching this might have one or two habits that they really want to get rid of. I'll tell you my story. I loved alcohol. Drinking was just normal for me. Like every day, I come home and I pop a can of beer. Or maybe I meet some friends and we head out for a couple of drinks at the local bar. Well, soon enough, it started feeling kind of weird if I did not drink. Now, don't get me wrong, I was never a full-blown alcoholic, but I was close enough to becoming one, only if I hadn't kicked the bad habit. I am proud to say that I have successfully overcome the habit with my six-step rule, and life has never been better. So please stay tuned while I share this 10-minute video that could possibly change your life. Now, I believe that a lot of people don't really take the time to know themselves, to really understand why they do what they do. So ask yourself, why do you act in a certain way? My answer to that question was, number one, when I drink, I get in a great mood. Number two, it relieves my stress levels, makes me happy. And number three, it makes me socially acceptable. You know, in parties and get togethers, I feel more socially acceptable. Now, once you answer that question, ask yourself the next question. Now, this one's really important, so hear me very carefully. Question is, why do you need to feel the way you do after you've behaved a certain way? For someone like me, I needed to feel socially acceptable because I had low self-esteem. I also did not know the right way to control my stress, which is why I needed to take a drink or have a drink to just make me feel relieved. But you know what? Once I got to know the real motive for my behavior, I started working on my self-esteem and also learned to manage my stress levels. So you see, understanding yourself very well is really crucial in order to break a bad habit. Now, I always recommend that you make an inventory of your thoughts and feelings that surround your particular bad habit. But why should you write? Because writing or making an inventory makes you think harder. It makes you really assess yourself better. It is an inventory of yourself on paper. So I believe that when you write, it makes you get a better perspective of yourself, of your problem, which helps you address it in a much better way. Now, because it's a habit, your brain reacts to that habit in a positive way. Your brain is so used to acting out the certain habit. So every time you act out the bad habit, you are comfortable in your mind because you are doing it. So I believe that if you suddenly stop doing a bad habit, mm -mm, that's not enough. Because if you suddenly stop, that comfort level will go. And that's not a good thing because you need to be comfortable in your skin. So now what do you do? Hmm. You need to give your brain the opportunity to process an alternative habit. Only this time, it's going to be a good positive one. So instead of drinking alcohol, I would sip on lemon water. Sometimes 
I would need to really make healthy mocktails of the fruits that I loved. Um, a, a watermelon mixed with peach happened to be a favorite of mine. Sometimes I'd just sip on a fruit beer. So what happened here is that my brain gradually accepted my new habit and eventually not drinking alcohol became normal for me. It became like the new normal for me. I'm going to be honest with you. There are going to be moments of weakness. Yeah, moments when the bad habit is going to lure you back. Yeah, sad to say, I had those occasional pangs of wanting a quick beer, a quick drink. That's why it's important to have a backup plan when you feel weak. As a backup plan, I had made myself accountable to a friend of mine. So me and my friend, we decided that at the end of every sober week, a week of not drinking, I'd put money into my account. Now, this was the money that I would have otherwise spent on alcohol. Funny thing is, I happened to realize that I spent nearly around $70 on alcohol in one week. So in my moments of weakness, I'd call my friend and tell her about my cravings. So, well, she'd just come over and we would do some other fun stuff to divert my attention. We would maybe go for a drive or she'd just encourage me and make me feel good about all the money I'd saved as a result of not drinking alcohol. So guys, always, always have a backup plan and try to include your loved ones into that plan because loved ones, your loved ones, it could be your friends, your family, they will give you all the support you need and you cannot go wrong that way. Now, listen to me. You need to be smart enough to avoid any kind of temptations. So if you've got a problem like me, don't drive back from work on the same road that passes the local bar or the local wine shop. Don't hang out with friends who love to drink. Don't even keep a single can of beer at home if you are struggling with something similar to what I struggle with. So whatever is your bad habit, if you remove all temptations that have the power to get you back in, well, you will be successful. So don't give in to temptation and avoid temptation as much as you can. Now, when you are in the process of getting rid of a bad habit, you need to make lifestyle changes. That's the best way you should really go about it. So I realized that alcohol and fitness don't go well together. So I started hitting the gym. And believe me, I've never been more fit and I've never felt more better. In fact, I made it a point to spend more time with my family. So we'd have fun Fridays or fun Tuesdays, whatever you want to call it. And as a result, my relationship with the family got a lot better. So you can see that making a few lifestyle changes did me a whole lot of good. In fact, today, I don't even remember when I had my last drink. And what is amazing is that I don't feel the urge or the need to go back to that horrible, horrible habit anymore. So I believe that everyone or anyone who has a bad habit, well, they can always give it up if you really follow this six step rule in order to attack the habit and come out successful just like I did. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've learned a lot and I'm sure you can apply that in your everyday life. If you practice what I've shared with you, you will, you will have a better life, not only for yourself, but for everyone around you. So please, please drop in your comments to let us know how these tips have helped you 
with any bad habit that you are struggling with right now. I'll be back with some more lessons, but please like the video, subscribe to our channel, and do not forget to click on the bell icon. Until next time, this is Seema saying, have a great one.